College and welcome to The Common Agenda. I'm your host, Kelsey Osborne, here to give you a break from all the coffees, Red Bulls, and Five Hour Energies I'm sure you've been drinking to keep you alive during midterm week. Today I'm going to be filling you in on everything you might have missed this past week, as well as what to expect in the days to come. Let's get started. Emerson's WLP department was recently visited by New York Times bestselling author David Shields to discuss his new book, Reality Hunger, A Manifesto. The acclaimed author read an excerpt from his book and then participated in a Q&A session, trying to explain his redefined idea about the reality that we live in. Shields argues in his nonfiction work that we love reality because our culture is becoming more and more artificial. Shields is currently working on a biography of J.D. Salinger's life as well as co-editing a collection of essays. This year's Fall Honors Program lecture went out to all of those animals who lost their lives in the oil spill this past year. Freelance journalist Mark Engler gave his lecture on the crisis that is the market surrounding oil. He focused on how giant companies use deceptive tactics in order to save money to please stockholders. Engler has previously appeared in such magazines such as Newsday and The Ecologist. The Office of Communications and Marketing has launched a new program that allows students of a variety of majors to start honing in on professional skills. The program currently holds 14 students ranging from freshmen to graduate students. Each student, whether it be a journalism major or a VMA major, has a paid position writing press releases, covering news stories, creating campaigns, and designing publications. The goal is for students to have experience and alumni connections by the time they graduate, so getting a job post-graduation won't be a problem. Now, this past Sunday, Falling Whistles paid a visit to Emerson's campus. As they campaigned to help those in the Congo, the head of the group talked about what they're doing and how students can get involved. Jackie Tiongson was lucky enough to sit down with him and get the inside scoop. Hi guys, I'm Jackie Tiongson and I'm here outside of the multi-purpose room in Piano Row to hear the humanitarian group Falling Whistles speak about their passion for justice in the Congo. Let's see what they had to say. You know when you overcome something so big and you've dreamed about it, it's like, we gotta do something. You know that feeling and it's like, yeah, we gotta do something. I'm Sean Carrasso, I'm the founder of Falling Whistles. We're a campaign for peace in Congo, so we ask people to be whistleblowers for peace. We use the money to rehabilitate kids beside the deadliest war in the world, the war in Congo, to try and end it. So I came to Emerson to tell people about what we're doing, why we're here, and build the coalition out. I think we have a school where everyone is really passionate about something, and everyone has their thing. Sometimes like a lot of us get trapped in like our own world with our own like career directions, and I think that it will just give a new perspective to some of us who get caught up in our daily assignments. My story starts in Congo. I was born in Congo and I uh, left because of the war in Congo. And I uh, ended up in a refugee camp in Malawi. And so every night, like about 50,000 kids were leaving their homes to escape being abducted. You know, if it bothers you that we live in a 21st century with mass atrocities, with genocide, join the Wizard Society and be a part of the solution. I think something that my dad has taught me is the ability to dream. And in order for that dream to come through, is uh, making the necessary sacrifice in order to see it come through. And, and so somebody threw out this idea, they're like, let's do a protest. And it was like, yeah, let's do a protest. Like, peace and conquer, right? That's the goal. I think we all learned tonight that it's not that hard to fight for peace and get involved in something you're just passionate about. If you want to learn more about this humanitarian group, visit www.fallingwhistles.com. For Common Agenda, I'm Jackie Tiongson. Thanks, Jackie. Networking is extremely important to our development here at Emerson, and so are puns, both of which will be featured next Monday, the 25th, at What I Learned from My Nightmare on Networking Street, an alumni event held by EC for Life and the 2011 Class Committee. Emerson grads will share their horror stories about entering the working world, especially how your first day can be a total nightmare. The event is Halloween-themed, if you hadn't guessed, and will feature tricks about dealing with the workplace and maybe some treats. It will be held in the Piano Row Multipurpose Room at 6 p.m. and the results of the 2011 class survey will be revealed. I'm dying to go. Are you secretly hilarious? Well, it's time of the year to show off all your comedy chops. This Tuesday, October 26th, The Girly Project will be hosting a stand-up showcase for aspiring comics. Come prepared with a five-minute set to see if you get a chance in the spotlight. The showcase will be held in the Multipurpose Room at Piano Row from 8 to 10.30 and it's free, so bring your friends and be prepared for big laughs. If improvisation is more your comedy style, well, as Swollen Monkey Showcase says, we could agree more. The comedy troupe will be holding an improv show this Friday, October 22nd, at 8 p.m. in the Piano Row Multipurpose Room. The event is free and a perfect way to introduce your parents to all the hilarity that happens at Emerson during family weekend. Keep it PG, guys. My mom's going to be there. 
Did you know that Emerson's newspaper, The Berkeley Beacon, has been around since 1947? That's right, the paper began its weekly distribution over 60 years ago, getting its name from the intersection of Berkeley and Beacon Streets in the Back Bay. Their offices are located in the Campus Center in the basement of P. Rowe, so if you're interested in writing for them, stop by one of their weekly meetings Monday at 7 for your first assignment. If you think that internships are picking up coffee and lunch orders all day, well then think again. Emerson students yesterday had the opportunity to network with over 50 employers looking for spring interns. The Fall 2010 Internship Fair was held yesterday from 1 to 4.30 at the Courtyard Marriott Boston Hotel located at 275 Tremont Street. The event was sponsored by Career Services and offered information from a variety of industry professionals on their exciting internship opportunities available for the spring semester. Yesterday there was also a mandatory LA program informational meeting from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Anson Building. The event offered info important information on travel, housing, living expenses for all the students headed west this spring. Carrie McManus, the LA Program Director of Internships, also spoke about the student internship process in great detail. If you couldn't make the meeting, the information session will be repeated from 2 to 4 p.m. in the Charles Beard Room in the Little Building. Also happening yesterday, filmmaker and new media artist Tar Simon Tarr presented some of his most recent works. The event was held from 6 to 8 in the Bright Family Screening Room in the Paramount Center. The screening was sponsored by the Department of Visual Media Arts, with Tarr presenting and speaking about his recent films, Gary Cheat and Tia Mack. Now let's send it over to Jackie to see what else happened this past week. Hey guys, last week Emerson put on a bunch of activities to help inform Emerson College students about how to stay healthy and just live smart this year, no pun intended. Common Agenda was able to cover the events, let's see what went on. Hi folks, Mike Callahan here for the Common Agenda. The last few days we've been covering the Live Smart events sponsored by the Campus Activities Board and the Center for Health and Wellness. Right behind me right now is the mocktail party in the multi-purpose room where students can drink mocktails, socialize, and have the chance to win a $25 H&M gift card. Let's hope I win. We're here with Stephanie. Stephanie is the bartender for the mocktail party. So Stephanie, tell me what, what's this all about? What's happening here? What's going on? Sure, well, Live Smart Week is going on. The Center for Health and Wellness is working in conjunction with CAP to just provide the student body with a bunch of different programming. Tonight is mocktails. So in the event of promoting a healthier lifestyle, we have fine cheeses, um, nice crackers, strawberries, grapes, a great mocktail, dark chocolate Hershey Kisses, and condoms. So this is Deb Angler. She's the coordinator for wellness education for Emerson. Um, could you tell us a little bit about all the Live Smart events and what the overall goal the week or the last few days was? Uh, I wanted to have a week that allowed people to learn and you know, have, have fun with different concepts of wellness. So from a you know, physical, um, like emotional, mental, spiritual, you know, all aspects. So the mocktail party was a success here for Live Smart Week. Next time there's a mocktail party, swing on by and make it a night you'll actually remember. Well, at least the beginning part of the night. For The Common Agenda, I'm Mike Callahan. That definitely made me want to take steps towards a healthier lifestyle. Special thanks to Kathy Andrade for planning the wonderful event. Now back to Kelsey. We have some amazing events coming up this weekend, and be sure to check out the Cultural Legends Ball this Friday from 7 to 11 in the Cabaret of the Little Building. So break out your Lady Gaga Halloween costumes early and head down to the event for some music, dancing, and free food. My favorite. Also happening tomorrow is a screening of, the, of Maytain Erkson's film, Dry Summer. The event will start at 9.30 p.m. and will be held in the Bright Family Screening Room. Tickets are $10 for members and $5 for Emerson students. Unfortunately, it's time for my least favorite part of the show, goodbye. That's all I've got for today's episode of The Common Agenda. Tune in tomorrow for everything Cassidy Brettler has to say about your weekend, what you don't want to miss, and what you should expect. I'm Kelsey Osborne. I'll see you next Tuesday with lots more Emerson events. Thanks for watching.